here we go. It's the battle out there, stage one, but it's also the battle of the mullets. I think I've got that covered. I don't know about the race. Very excited to get the race started in earnest. In the amateur category in 2023 at the Absa Cape Epic, it's the battle of the mullets. <laughs> the party's at the back, and we're ready to roll. Mitch, let's do this. Hey, when you elevate, <laughs> I'm losses, I'm handing them out, yeah, I had to go delegate. I feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the moment, I swear I could levitate They never believed that I would really fly, I had to go demonstrate I had to set them straight They hate when you elevate, elevate, elevate G'day, I'm Mitch Stocker And I'm Ian Barswell, I'm the Doughboy and he is the Digger The Digger and the Doughboy is significant to the Australians, the Diggers and the Doughboys the, the Americans who fought together in World War II And they've continued that alliance and that name for that that collaboration to sort of endure tough times, good times. That's that sort of uh, brotherhood. Brotherhood, yeah. I mean, these are really great jerseys. We yeah. just got our custom team jerseys yesterday. So we're really looking forward to representing those. Yeah. So we're like equally as excited to have these. Um, but we'll see how long we can hang on to it. My preparation was I actually had to do some riding, stepped it up 15 hours a week. Yeah, I live up in northern Vermont in the U.S., so it's winter time. So I've been doing a lot of skiing, a little bit of indoor riding, and then I've done two trips uh, to warmer climates. When the opportunity ca came to come to Cape Epic, I thought, who could I ride with? I thought of Ian. So I just reached out to him. He said, let's do it. That was pretty much it. Didn't yeah. take much convincing. <laughs> it did not take much convincing, no. no. I mean, I think we had like a very similar pass in the sense like we were two riders that raced in Europe and like that was our dream to race that we also came from abroad, you know, Mitch from Australia, me from the US. So I feel like we had a lot of parallels. We'll learn that at times there may be points when you're riding easier than you want to ride mm. and to embrace those times. We were stuck behind some people and we wanted to go faster, but that actually wound up being pretty advantageous because we actually rested. It's awesome that the Absa Cape Epic are celebrating the working class heroes this year and into the future. Watch out the engine is roaring. It's too loud, you can ignore me. Yeah, yeah. I've never done a mountain bike race of this length in a group. Um, it was awesome, but like the, by probably 20k to go, I think we started to realize we probably raced a little bit too hard today. <laughs> Everyone went really hard at the start, and we just sort of jumped in with it and thought, oh, okay, this is what we do, and just sort of kept racing harder and harder, and then, it's like Ian said, like 20k to go, we thought, still 20k to go. It does remind me of some hard classics races. The difference is, like a Paris-Roubaix or a Tour of Flanders, the difference is, they're one day. I've got to do this again tomorrow, and more. I'm a bit nervous about that. We got stuck into this battle with the Masters who were just absolutely killing each other. We didn't realize until 10k to go that like, we're not racing them. It was felt like a journey. You just kept traveling through these different areas and the, and the terrain changed. And... Yeah, I think we're not going to try to get involved with the Masters race tomorrow, maybe in a couple of years' time. But I think for the moment, just see where, see where we are and you know, just really take it 